What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and today we're going to be talking about how to connect a GoDaddy domain account to your ClickFunnels account. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, so this is the ClickFunnels dashboard. As soon as you log in, this is what you're going to come to. So to connect the domain, we need to go up to this right here in the top right corner. Click Account Settings. All right, and then scroll down to the bottom left here. Look for domains. Click that. And then back to the top right, we're going to go add new domain. Obviously, I've done this a few times. If you want a domain by ClickFunnels, which this isn't, that's not what this video is about, but if you want to, they do charge $20. You don't have to do it with any of this, but the downfall to that is you have, if you ever decide to not use ClickFunnels anymore, then they get to keep your domain essentially, which kind of sucks. I don't know how that works completely, but that's one of the main reasons why I go with different uh, domain registrars. But if you want, click that, do it through there. But if you already have a GoDaddy account which and a domain there, that's what this is all about. So you're going to go over here, use an existing domain. All right, and then we're going to put the domain in. We'll do heldover.com. I, I don't even know why I have that. Heldover.com. We're gonna add this domain. Now, what it's saying here is you need to add a CNAME record that points www to target.clickfunnels.com. So we're gonna highlight that, copy it, then we're gonna jump over to GoDaddy. Now, when you log into your account, this is your main dashboard as soon as you log in. It's gonna show you all your domains you got, and yeah. So we're gonna find the one we wanted to do. I think we did held over here. We're going to go to, you could go to manage, but there's no point. Just click on DNS. Now, all this stuff, unnecessary. You got two options here. You can click and edit it, or you can delete it and make a new one. For this, click it, edit it, and so basically it's already done. You would just copy that, paste, and click save. That's all you'd do. But we're going to go ahead and delete it, so just in case you don't have all this already. Oops delete. We're going to go ahead and delete everything because we don't need any of this. All right. <clears throat> Add CNAME. Host was www and we want to point to click funnels. Uh, the TTL doesn't matter. Uh, do whatever you want or just leave it at one hour. I would leave it at one hour because, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So we're done with that. Now I like to add another one. This is just me personally. You don't have to do this. Just in case you don't want to use the www. Which I don't always. Uh, I've done this step. So you go back to click funnels. Click that you've done this step. This is what you're going to get. Okay. Good job. You did it. Heldover.com is now connected and ready to use. Now this is the point where you can assign it to a funnel. If you want to do that, click on one. Click associate funnel. I'm just going to go to show my domains because I'm not going to associate it. We do have to go make sure it's verified and SSL. Okay, so it did automatically verify. So now we got to go secure it. So click on it. Now if it isn't verified, that just means it's it's taking a little more time. There will be a little pop-up up top, up, up, right, right under edit uh, heldover.com and above default page. That, you know, pops up and says, hey, this isn't verified yet. So you click that and then wait for it to get verified. Uh, if that's the case. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it doesn't. So click expand here. And then SSL ticket add. SSL ticket. <laughs> SSL add to uh, the account. This does take some time. We have initiated the SSL setup process. It could take 10 to 15 minutes. This is normal. It doesn't normally take 10 to 15 minutes. It normally takes about a minute. So if you want to speed up the process, you can click check now. If you just want to wait, it will pop up. Here, I actually got some examples here from when I hooked up the last one about an hour ago. Uh, congratulations, your domain blah, blah, blah was now, is now ready. So that's what will happen. Uh, or you could just click the check now, and hopefully it's done. Like I said, it only takes a couple minutes normally. Bam, congratulations, it's all done. There we go. So we want to go back to our domains and just verify that it has the green lock on it because that's that's what we're going for. So you want to go for secured here, 
green lock here, you're good to go. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications from when we post. Basically. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video. I'll see you on the next video.